Well, hello, boys and girls. This is Mr. Walls with a beginning trombone lesson for you. Now that you've had your first lesson at school, you can refer to this video. I'm going to cover a lot of things that I talked about in the lesson. Things go by really fast in the lesson. I know that. That's why I've created these videos so that you can refer to them and hopefully have a very successful first couple weeks on your instrument. So don't be afraid to come back to this and watch again. Okay? Hey, let's take our mouthpieces and review how we made a sound on the instrument. The first thing that I had you do was wet your lips and just kind of buzz real loose, just kind of getting the, the blood flowing around our mouth in the muscles. Let's do that again. And maybe stretch a little bit. And then we firmed things up and buzzed a little faster. And then we place the mouthpiece on our mouth, evenly or slightly low, but not high. And we buzz into the mouthpiece. Notice that I breathe from the corners of my mouth. Cool. Let's do that again. Great. So we've made some sounds on our mouthpiece. Let's talk about when we put our trombone together, what we should see when it comes together. So we have the hand slide portion. We have the bell section, the upper section. I'm holding in my right hand, in my right hand, I've got the slide. And I'm holding the lower bar on the slide. And I made sure that my slide lock was on so that my slide would not fall off of the hand slide. I've got the upper section, the bell section in my hand. And the taller tube is closest to my body, closest to me. And I'm going to stand the upper section onto that, just like that. And I want a 90 degree angle, right? A 90 degree angle here to here. And then I lift this collar and attach it to that section and screw the two together. Try and do that fairly firmly, as tight as you can get it. Okay? And now. My left thumb is going to go, I'm going to stand it with my back to you so it looks like how it looks to you. My left thumb, left, right, makes a letter L. My left thumb goes here, and then these fingers go into the box, into here, okay? Thumb, reach around into that box. And then my right hand, my right hand goes on this bar on the slide. Of course, I still have my slide locked. And that's what you should do, too, for now. All right, so I'm going to pick up my mouthpiece. I'm going to insert the mouthpiece into the lead pipe of the trombone. And I'm just going to give it a little push. Boop, and that's it. That's all I have to do to get the trombone mouthpiece to where it will not fall out of the instrument. I still have to give it a, a tug to get it to come out. I put it in. I give it a little push. Now, if something happens when you're practicing and the, the mouthpiece gets stuck, if you've disassembled the instrument and dropped this mouthpiece first to the floor or you've ran into something with it, it could get jammed. And you might not be strong enough to get it out. If you're not strong enough, then find some, an adult or an older brother or sister and see if they can pop it out. Right? They should be able to uh, get it to come out. But if it's stuck really bad and the strongest person in your house can't pull it out with just their, their hand strength, leave it in. Do not use pliers. Do not use a tool. If you do, you're going to scar and gouge the mouthpiece. It's going to look horrible, and it's still going to be stuck. Leave it in. Bring it to school on your lesson day stuck in it, and I have a tool that will pop it right out. It's not a tool that you want to buy. It's a $50 tool. You bring it to me, it takes me 45 seconds to pop it out, maybe less. That's the way to do that. Don't put it in a vise. Don't use pliers. Don't use a tool on your mouthpiece unless you really want to mess it up and make it look really bad. Okay? 
I'm going to move my music stand over here to the other side of the camera. This will be the better view for you as we are playing. Okay. So I'm going to unlock my slide. Notice I put my little, fink, my little pinky down there to keep it from falling once I've got it unlocked. I can grab hold of it with my hand. Of course, the trombone goes over my left shoulder, like this. Notice that the trombone is now in a V shape. It's not like this. It's not like this. It's in a V shape. I'll turn around and show you in this direction. See the angle that my slide is at? a diagonal angle, and then the other tube back here is at a similar angle here, okay? So that when I play, the mouthpiece comes nicely to my mouth over my left-hand shoulder. And if it gets heavy, and it will, stand it up. Just stand it on the floor, and you can rest your arms, okay? I'm going to push my tuning slide out some. And your tuning slide should always be out about that far when you're playing. A lot of times when you put a trombone in the case, you have to push the tuning slide all the way down so that it fits in the nest of the case properly, so it stays snug in your case. If that's the way that works with your case, then that's fine. But every time you play, you want to grab this, put your thumbs under the counterweight up here, and push up on it. You can see that slide open up a little bit. This is your tuning slide and the instrument is designed to play in tune here, not pushed all the way in. It makes a difference even for beginners. We want to get used to hearing ourselves play in tune. All right, so the first note that we learned, if you recall, was exercise five. That was the D because it's a lower pitch. It's just a little easier note to play than the F up on exercise one. So let's review our slide positions. This is, of course, first position. And then we had third position that we used. And in third position, this bar should be almost even with the bell. Notice mine is a little bit higher than the bell. And then we have our D, which is fourth position. And now the end of my slide is basically even with the bell. So we have first, second is in here, but we won't use that for a long time. Here's third and fourth, okay? First, third, and fourth. This is the F, this is the E flat, and this is the D. Let's stay in fourth position. Let's bring our instruments up and play a D. <coughs> buzz into your mouthpiece and go for a good sound. It might be too low, it might be too high, you might find the right pitch. Let's see what happens. Here's our D. Ready? Good job. Let's try again. Nice big breath. Make sure your lips are together when you buzz into the mouthpiece. Breathe from the corners of your mouth. And I was a little scratchy at the beginning of that note, wasn't I? Sometimes that happens. Let's do it again. Here's our D. And let's go one more time. Your, your slide back up to first position and you can stand it on the floor in front of you if you want and rest your arms just for a second and let's look at that D. The D that we were just playing is on the middle line of the music staff. There are five lines on the music staff and trombone players we have a little saying that we use for the notes on the staff and that is good boys do fine always. And of course those words stand for the letter names of those lines. G for good, B for boys, D for do, F for fine, and A for always. But right now all we're worried about as trombone players is the D and the F. 
right? The middle line and the line above that where we find the F. Okay, so that was our D. Now let's review our E flat, our third position note. It's the next note higher than the D. E flat, third position. So we were just out in fourth position for the D, and I'm going to come in one position. Now this bar is basically even with the bell, or a little bit above it, a little higher. And I'm going to play a note that's a little bit higher. Here's our E flat. Good. Let's play that again. Keep your face strong. Don't puff your cheeks. No bullfrogs in the trombone section. Here's our E flat again. And again. Good. And you can pause the video and practice that note even more if you would like. Okay? Go back and forth, maybe between the E flat and the D, practicing those two pitches, and then start the video back up and we'll continue. So here we are looking at exercise number one. And exercise one introduced the note F. This is our highest pitch that we're learning at the beginning of playing the trombone. We won't need anything higher for several weeks. Okay? So now we're in first position. The slide is all the way in. And this is our highest note, so I'm really going to play with a strong face. I'm going to buzz fast to get that F to come out. Here it is. And you can use a little pressure against your mouth, all right? Not excessively. Don't hurt yourself, obviously. Don't bruise your, your face. Just a little pressure against a strong mouth. It will work. Don't let your, don't let your lips push the mouthpiece away. Don't do this. Don't let your lips do that. Keep your lips in against your gums and teeth. Let's do that again. Here's our F. Good. And you can put your instrument down for a minute because I know it gets heavy. And you can rest. While we're resting, let's look at exercise two, count and play. And in exercise two, we see quarter notes. We see one beat notes. There are four quarter notes in the first measure of the song. And you know that four quarters make a dollar. And you probably know that there are four quarters in a whole football game. And there are four quarters in a measure of music. We've divided the measure into four equal parts, four quarters. Each one of those quarters is worth one beat. Four beats in the measure, four notes. Each note gets one beat. And then in the next measure, we have four squiggly lines. Those are quarter rests. And we rest one beat for every quarter rest. So we play four beats, we rest four beats, we play four beats, and we rest four beats. I'll demonstrate. Here's exercise two, count and play. One, two, three, play. Rest, 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 rest. Rest, 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 rest. Let's do that again. Play with me if you didn't that first time. Here we go. First position, F. The F is on the second line down from the top of the staff. Four quarter note Fs. One, two, ready. Rest, 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 rest. Rest, 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 rest. All right, and again, you can pause your video. Practice that exercise some more, and then start it back up, and we'll continue working our way down the page. So let's review the note that we learned in exercise three, a new note. This was our E flat. So we went from first position, F, to third position, E flat. Here we go. One, 
two, ready, four, uh, let's just play an E flat, ready? And you'll notice that note is just a little bit lower in pitch than the F that we were just playing. Here's the E flat again. Good. And again, you can pause the video to rest your arms and then to play that note some more. And then we'll go to exercise four, two's a team. It's important to rest in between these exercises. I'm going to move quickly. You can always pause and rest. Exercise four begins with four E flats. We rest four beats. And while we're resting, we bring our slide up to first position so we can play four Fs. Now we're reading music. Now we're changing notes within an exercise. So we bring our instruments up. We go to third position. We'll play four E flats. One, two, ready. Rest, 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 rest. How'd you do? Let's try it again. Third position. Here we go with four E flats. One, two, ready. Rest, 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 rest. Rest, 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 rest. Good. Pause the video, practice that exercise some more, and then come on back. And now we'll review our D that we learned in exercise five. We go to fourth position. Again, first position, third position for E flat, fourth position for D. The end of the slide is even with the bell of the trombone. And here's the D. Let's play it again. Let's look at exercise six in your band book. Exercise six begins with five Ds. And then I see that we rest for three beats. And now things get real interesting. We go D, D, E, E, F. All right, I'll demonstrate this exercise. Here's exercise six. I'm in fourth position, so I can play five Ds. One, two, ready. Rest, rest, rest. There we go. Obviously, the second half of that exercise is the part of the song that's the most challenging, right? Where we go D, D. E, E, F. And what I just demonstrated is something that's really smart to do, to name the notes out loud and move the slide. Don't worry about blowing into the instrument. Do that with me. We have two Ds. We go D, D, then E, E, then F. And notice that I move my slide pretty quickly when I go up there for my F. Let's practice that part of the song where we go D, D, E, E, F. Fourth position. One, two, two Ds. Ready? Good. Let's do it again. Fourth position. Ready? Go. your video, practice that exercise some more. If you can come back to your second lesson and you've practiced exercises one through five and you can identify your notes really well and you're developing a good sound on your instrument, you're doing great. If you can play exercise six, fantastic. Let's look ahead and review the two other notes that we're going to learn at your next lesson on page five. We go one note lower than the D. Again, 
The D is on the middle line of the music staff. Good boys do fine always. There's our five lines. My five fingers represent the five lines on the staff. We can see that the letter C, the note C, is in the space below the D. Okay? And the slide position for that is six position. So what you're basically going to do is extend your slide as far as you can reach. And unless you have really long arms for a fifth grader, you're just going to get out there far enough, okay? So I'll show you where that sixth position is. So let's review. We had first position, F, third position, E flat, fourth position, D, and then sixth position, C. You're pretty much going to extend your arm as far as it will go. And if you're you know, you're, you're young players. If you're a 10-year-old and you're not real tall and your arms aren't real long yet, you might want to even extend your hand a little bit and, and cheat a little bit and get that slide out as, a little bit further than is, seems comfortable so that we can try and get that C in tune. I'm not going to worry if you can't reach that sixth position already. Don't sweat it, okay? As you... Next year as a sixth grader, you'll be two or three inches taller, your arms will be two or three inches longer, and you'll be fine. So here's the, the note C. I go to sixth position, and this is a lower note, so I can relax my mouth a little bit. Here's the D. Here's the C. Bring your trombone up, get out there to sixth position, and play that C with me. And let's try that again. Good job. Good. Good. And you can put your instrument down and rest for a few seconds, pause the video, and then come back. We'll look at one more note. And that last note that we're going to look at in this video lesson is our low B flat. Exercise 9 on page 5 shows us the B flat. And the B, just like the E, has the flat symbol next to it. And that little flat symbol kind of looks like a letter B, doesn't it? It's a coincidence. The, the flat symbol that looks like a B is called a flat. And this one is next to the note B. So that kind of gets people confused sometimes. The note is B flat. If I played that note on the piano, it would be a black key because the black keys on the piano are the flats and the sharps. And your E, <coughs> pardon me, your E is also a flatted note, also a black key on the piano. But let's play our low B flat. And you can see under the B flat at, measure, at exercise nine, there's a number one. And that tells me to play this note in first position, the same position that I used for the note F. The F was high, the B flat is low. So I'll bring my trombone up. I'm in first position. And I'm playing a pretty low note. Don't let your mouth get too soft, but relaxed. And let's play that B flat again. All right, good. So let's review all the notes that we have learned so far. Let's start with that low B flat. Look at exercise nine while we do this. You're looking at the B flat that's on the second line up from the bottom. Remember, good, G for good. G is the bottom line of the staff. Boys, we're looking at the B flat on the second line. Here we go. Here's the B flat. Next note up from B flat is C, sixth position. The next note up from C that we learned in exercise five is fourth position D. One more note up, third position E flat. First position, F. And I'm going to 
just going to play down that scale of notes for you. And now I'll go up. Good. I'm just demonstrating that for you. If you want to try and do that too, go for it. Go for it. If you can play up and down that scale like that real soon in your um, journey playing the trombone, That'll be fantastic. So, we've covered a lot of material here. Don't be afraid to come back to this video if you need to, you know, um, every night if you want, or just use it once or twice, whatever your needs are, but play every day this first week of taking band lessons. I'll see you at your next lesson. Thanks, boys and girls.